Hello, thanks for coming along today. My name is Sarah McCormack. I'm a professor in sustainable energy and I'm in the Department of Civil, Structural and Environmental Engineering in Trinity College, Dublin. So I'm here to talk to you today about the postgraduate diploma in sustainable energy and the environment. So my contact details are there, my email, if you want to contact me, feel free. I'm the course director. So if you have any questions on the course content, you know, feel free to contact me. So today, what I want to run through is just some aspects around the course and um, some of the other diplomas that we do here in Trinity, also around what the course is, what the content is, how we deliver it, and then, of course, your learning experience itself. So in terms of Trinity College, we have a number of postgraduate diplomas in the School of Engineering. Uh, we have, as you can see there, we have applied building repair and conservation. We have construction law and contract administration. We also have uh, project management, fire safety, for example. And of course, the one that I'm going to talk to you is about sustainable energy and the environment. So this, as you, if for any of you that went along to the session last week, there is also the energy for climate action. And we do have a little bit of crossover uh, with uh, some of the energy uh, content of our course and the engineering for climate action course. So these are professional uh, diplomas and uh, within the school. And they run on, generally on a part-time basis and uh, through either online or in-person delivery. This course is going to be blended where we have online delivery, but also we have the opportunity to come together uh, as, a a, as a class and to meet up for some in-person sessions as well. So for these diplomas, we, they're basically from the School of Engineering, and so they're always from that engineering perspective. We're trying to promote actions required in engineering practice to improve, sustain, and restore the environment. So this will be at the heart of the program that, you're, uh, that you undertake here to support sustainable use and generation of energy, while also understanding the environmental aspects of that and the aspects as well as the impacts. So this is really key for this particular course in terms of energy efficiency, demand, but also the generation, but as well as that, what is the environmental uh, concerns here as well? So in terms of our ambition for the course, is we hope to provide a program to support professionals to develop and apply new knowledge in uh, sustainable energy with a clear focus on uh, environmental impacts of our innovation. So as engineers, we're always very excited about this, but also it's trying to see, you know, that we're creating solutions that aren't issues in the future. So we're not creating problems for the future, but we are instead creating long-term sustainable solutions. Trying to deliver an accessible learning experience to online and blended environments to try to meet you know, your needs in terms of busy and working professionals. And we try to take you on a journey that provides uh, academics and professional outputs but it also benefits yourself and in terms of uh, your career development and, and your employer too, if they're part of this uh, journey with you. In terms of the program itself, so the program itself is one year and uh, it's a part-time uh, uh, course. It's delivered, as I mentioned, in terms of blended. So we have online lectures on Friday evenings from 7 to 10, Saturday mornings from 9.30 to 12.30. And we have those sessions every week. And we would hope to have one session on campus uh, per month. So each Saturday, we would plan to have one session uh, where you would come together as a class group uh, to meet and to work on, on some of the, the course material. The entry requirement here is an honours uh, level degree at a level eight in a STEM or related subject. So if you do have, um, you know, if you if you don't have the qualification that's in terms of these entry requirements, we do have an, an interview process as well. So don't be put off if that's not what you're uh, working in. If you have some experience that we can take into account, that would be really, you know, we definitely take that uh, when you come to interview. So that's where it's really important that if you are working in the space and, uh, you know, it's 
that that can form part of your eligibility towards uh, this course. So we've had many students that have come on the course that haven't had that engineering uh, degree, and they've all been successful in terms of completion. So don't don't be put off by that. Um, either get in touch with me directly, or we can have or go through the application process, and we can have the interview. And uh, it's really just to understand to help you understand what's involved in the course and us to make sure that you understand so that we end up you know we obviously we want everyone to complete the course successfully so that's really the key that you're not coming in to do the course and uh, and not fully understanding the course itself so we try to ensure that you know that beforehand so the application deadline is the 31st of july so feel uh, so please if you're thinking of uh, applying for the course you can start to have a look at those the application requirements and if you have any questions you can come in and talk to us in terms of the course content itself so we have three modules on the course as i said it's a one-year part-time course it's essentially made up of two uh 12 week periods so we have one 12 weeks from september to december and then we have another one then from january to april time so within that, we have three modules, the Sustainable Energy Efficiency and Management. We have Engineering for the Environment. And then we have the Sustainable Energy Project module. So first of all, in the Sustainable Energy Efficiency and Management module, we split it really into demand and then also into generation. So whenever we're looking at the, this particular module, we focus a lot on energy efficiency and management, first off. And we take a view in terms of that uh, I suppose, energy consumption or energy demand in the sectoral context. So we look at energy in buildings, we look at energy in industry, energy in agriculture, and energy in transport. So those are the main uh, areas that we use energy in, in Ireland and globally. And so that's how we split that particular uh, area up. We will also uh, give you, you know, so we also have lectures in, um, we also have lectures from uh, industry as well as academics. So we would be giving you the insight into, particularly on the energy and industry side. So the energy engineers would come in from industry, give you some sort of case studies, you know, real scenarios and, uh, and help you to understand, you know, what's current, what's required at the moment and what's coming down the line so that you're, you know, you're getting state of the art um, from the research led teaching but also from the actual uh, industries itself and what's important for them so while we look at the sectoral issues we also look at policy legislation we will also look at economic energy economics of course trying to see how that all fits together in terms of the sustainable generation side then we will look at all of the sustainable energy technologies from um, wind solar biomass wave, hydro, tidal, all of them, geothermal. We will try to give you some insight into those from uh, industry, from academic perspectives. We'll also look at low carbon. So looking at say uh, uh, nuclear technology, looking at hydrogen fuel cells, trying to tell, trying to give you some insight into what's, um, you know, what, what's currently been used. What are the possibilities for the future, of course? And one of the key things with generation is the grid integration and storage. So that's all. That's also a, a very uh, an important topic that will be discussed through this module as well. So we have a broad scope and uh, hopefully giving you a very good uh, overview of the con of the situation in terms of energy efficiency and demand uh, from a national perspective, but also from an international and global perspective. The other section of the course then is this, uh, the whole area of engineering for the environment. So while we're talking, this course will focus from an engineering for a sustainable energy environment, I suppose, uh, often a lot of the topics um, that we need to deal with from a sustainable energy context are also broadly impacting on the environment as well. So it's important that we understand that in that particular context. So engineering and the environment will focus um, on environmental considerations of our engineering projects and try to help you to enhance knowledge in terms of scientific processes that occur within the natural environment by our, I suppose, disturbance of it by implementing these different technological solutions, as well as broader efficiency and um, 
uh, efficiency and reduce consumption. Um, it'll help us in terms of our national and international legislation around this, and particularly around the thematic areas of say noise, soil, uh, this sort of energy water nexus, which is so critical, and also noise or waste as well. So in some technologies, for example, if we're putting up wind turbines, we have to think about the broader environmental consequences of that and thinking of it in terms of possibly soil, um, in terms of um, noise. Those are, are aspects from the environmental considerations that need to be taken into, consider, into account as well. So for our assessment on this side, we'd be looking at um, an environmental impact assessment here as well. So uh, the next one then, the next module is our sustainable energy project. So this can be a student led, can be employer led, can be um, academic led. So if it depends on your motivation for the course. So essentially, if you have a topic of interest and uh, then we can design a project around that. If your employer is keen for you to look at particular areas of energy within, uh, within the business, that's something that we can design as well. And then if you're not sure at all of what you would like to do, then we're happy to come and to help you to, do, to come up with a topic and to come up with something that you're interested in around the, within the remit of the course. So through the whole sustainable energy, either efficiency, demand and generation side, the environmental implications of any of that as well. Any topic through the uh, content of the course is open for a project within that. So it's really, as I said, to do more with your motivation for taking the course in the first place. So if you're interested in particular topics, then we can um, we can design projects around that. And this can be used, often students uh, in the past have used that to help them to maybe change direction within a company. So maybe we've had students that are maybe in the pharma industry that weren't working in the energy side of the business, but then did a project through the course and ended up working with that energy team and then moved into that area afterwards. So that can be you know, really valuable for you in terms of changing your career pathway or even for getting into energy in the first place, you know. So that's really, um, so we will talk to you to try to come up with that, to try to understand your motivation and to see how we can help you to get the most out of this course uh, going forward. So as I mentioned then, in terms of the course, it's driven by research-led academics. So we have, you know, experts within college, within Trinity College that will be involved in the course through all of these sectoral areas and, uh, and topics within energy and environment. We'll also bring in industry experts to help us, um, to guide us on those very much uh, the need for the industry focus uh, in specific sectors. We will engage you through peer-to-peer -peer learning where you'll be talking, you know, and discussing with your own classmates and also through problem-based learning. So this is really important for your sort of critical thinking going forward. The course is delivered, it's, it's flexible in terms of delivery, so it's blended in that there's online content and we'll also have live lectures. So anything that is live will also be recorded, so if you're not able to attend at that time, it's something that you can go and, and look at on demand and when you're available uh, to do that. We will have some site visits to the course, but they'll be clearly uh, indicated and um, you know and the, the timelines around that will be discussed with you um, at the earliest time uh, through the course and timetable. We have interactive tools to try to encourage uh, group engagement, you know, online discussions, live Q&A after the class. And of course, we have uh, forums for you to do that uh, with our uh, virtual learning environment uh, that Trinity has. And then, of course, you have the availability of the staff in the course. So if you have any queries or questions as course director, I'm available to you um, if you have any questions or queries uh, throughout the year, but also the other members of the teaching staff that are um, that do take part in this course, whether they're industry professionals or academics, we're all available to you in terms of if you have any questions or queries on the course. So we do hope that the, the postgraduate diploma it's, you know, we, we've designed that to help equip you uh, with essential knowledge and practical skills and need it uh, within this area of energy and environment because the issues, these, um, these issues are quite complex in, in, in order to tackle. So it's important we have this multidisciplinary approach to the course 
to give you the insights, a more holistic view of energy uh, going forward. So you have the team of expert uh, faculty available to you, and also you have the industry connections through the course with the flexible learning environment. So we hope that it is something that you find uh, possible to be able to balance and juggle within your busy, uh, your busy uh, life and, uh, and job. And we'd hope that it does provide you, you know, important uh, career um, you know, innovations around this course where you're able to be well positioned uh, to pursue different opportunities within, within energy, uh, within the energy industry, and to help you to, we help, we hope to you know, talk you through uh, why you're doing the course to try to see how we can ensure that you're getting the, the maximum amount of benefit out of this course as well. So uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time to join me today. And um, if you do have any further questions, my email is there. It's uh, mccorms1, so it's at tcd.ie. And my name, of course, Sarah McCormack. So feel free to look me up on, on the Trinity website to send me an email. And I'm very happy to answer any of your questions. The, uh, there's a link there to help you that will lead you to the, the program. And uh, if you have any further questions on more the uh, on the technical side of the program, on the course content, I'm very happy to answer that. And from the administrative side, we'll be able to get that information to you as well. So thanks again for your time. and. Uh, I look forward to seeing you soon uh, through the course. Thank you.